Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm going to show you how to use a custom recipe in Blender using the new KitOps Synth Blender add-on. This add-on is available now, and for the next few days will be discounted $5 off the regular price of $35, and I'll have links in the description. Truly another great addition to the KitOps ecosystem released by Chip Waters, who has some really great Blender add-ons that I use personally all the time. So please take a minute to check out some of his great products. First off, I want to let everyone know you need a copy of KitOps in order to run Synth. There is a free version and a paid version, so grab one of those. Also, you're going to need Blender 2.91 or later. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is go to KitOps, turn off the Smart Mode, and turn off my Auto Select Insert. Then I'll go to my Synth pull-down menu and I'll load my custom recipe. This one's called GP Sci-Fi Wall Final, and we'll load that. Once this loads up, I'll extend the window. And this is what we're looking at. So the top three are already set up to be the first to use to build the wall. Now I create a cube. I'm going to zoom in a little. Tab into the face. I'm using machine tools to tab in and out of edit mode. It's free, and I'll have a link in the description. So tab into the face and back to the object, then select do it. Okay, there's my wall. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do is under tools, I'm going to bake the object, then remove the unused wire inserts, select the mesh, and under normals, select auto smooth. Now we have a wall baked, smooth, and ready for inserts. Great. So tab back into the face, and now we can see the entire wall and match up the faces with the names of the recipe. For example, top left out is going to be top left out. Top left in will be top left in, top middle, so on and so on. So next we select the top left and click do it. And there we go. And here's the insert I took from my own K-Pack and placed it on the wall with synth, kind of like a vent or some sort. So then tab back into the face, select the next face on the wall, go to the next layer in the recipe, check that box and uncheck the first and click do it, boom. Now continue this procedure till you reach the bottom of the recipe. Now when you get to the middle section, I made the outer edge top and bottom, so select them together and click do it. Nice. Now select the next face in the middle, and I'm setting this insert as the mid left in. Okay, so do it. Now continue following the recipe. Okay, now for the lights on the bottom, select bottom lights tab and start selecting the beveled area like so. And then deselect the unwanted faces I don't want. And that's perfect. Oops, uh, there we go. Now click do it. Awesome. Next, do the same thing with the top and select top lights and deselect the unwanted faces. Make sure that's selected and hit do it. Great. Now we can go into dev mode, turn off the overlays. And this looks pretty good, man. So select the cube, take one of the materials from the placed inserts, and match the surface. I like dark matte. And yeah, that's it. Looking pretty good. Ready for a sci-fi scene. Now I'll just drop in a light here, say an area light. Uh, move it up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to move it in front of the front of the main right here a little bit. Uh, set it to about 200. And that looks great. A lot of detail, some emissions. Looks really sharp. So I hope this video helped shed some light on the understanding of recipes in KitOps Synth. I had a lot of fun making this video today. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom recipes. That should be pretty fun. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for all your support, and I'll see you soon. Bye.